Hi, welcome back to Prepping in Progress. I'm Steve. And I'm Kim. Today we're going to be talking about how to extend the life of the food in your pantry. We're also planning on trying a few experiments and seeing how they turn out. So come join us. Okay guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is our experiment. Now I guess we're putting me in charge of that because I'm not the canning guy, I'm not the cooking guy. So if this fails, we're going to blame the operator. Operator. Instead of the experiment itself. Was that a little shout out to Bear? Over at Bear Independent. Operator. Just a little bit. Just a little Bear bit. Bear taught me that I can't prep unless I have operator face. And so, yeah, I don't know how to do operator face. You're not going to teach me, Bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. I've heard a lot about gamma lids and how to put a gamma lid on your bucket, but those things are $10 just for the lid. Sometimes up to 15 While we were at Sam's Club um, last weekend, we came across these containers. Now these are dog food containers, believe it or not, but they are food grade plastic with gamma lid. And it was only $25. And yeah. if you think about it, $10, $15 for the lid alone, I mean, come on. And how much do these store? They're not five gallon. They're a, um, it says for a 60, 60 pounds of dog food. Yeah. So we're going to see how much we can fit in there. Oh, hello. It even comes with this uh, ant proof seal of approval and a scoop. Now the general plan is we're going to take our pinto beans in here, drop them in, no food absorber? No food absorber. We're just going to see how they do in a working pantry where we're mostly using the gamma lids and the food grade buckets to actually scoop out what we need for a working pantry, not for long-term storage, not to just put it in there and forget about it. But honestly, I think they would work the same way if you did want to use them for long-term storage, and then you can just fill them up and then put oxygen absorbers in. No, but in, we're not going to do that. In theory, if you would do that, would you put the oxygen absorber in? Yes. Okay. But since we're going to be opening and closing them and using them on a regular basis, uh, the experiment is to see how well the rice and beans last in these while actually getting into them and using them. Okay. Uh, what, airtight, weatherproof, heavy-duty, pest-proof, food-grade plastic. Can I show them the, so they can see what they're looking for? This is... I guess the, the tag that you want, if y'all want to go look it up. Uh, we, like I said, we did find these at Sam's Club, but I also went on to Amazon and I found these and other similar sizes. Uh, so if y'all wanted to go look on there, that's another place if you don't have a Sam's Club membership to go and find them. Now we may be about to make a glorious mess, that's why I've kind of put <laughs> them in different positions. Because this is the first time we've used them. All right, we picked up, uh, was it 50 pounds of pinto beans? Yes, ma'am. And we're going to see how they fit in here. Yeah. See how many pinto beans we can fit into these things. Do you want to turn it on its side or you Well, it? that's why I'm experimenting <laughs> with figuring out. <laughs> yep, we're going to have to tilt it up. Oh. <laughs> I love it. What is it doing? Now what Steve has mentioned yet? Oh my! Is before you go and put these into something like this, the first thing you need to do is to freeze them for what we froze them for three days each. Uh, all of my research says three days or till the center is negative 21 degrees. Okay. But we froze them for about three days in our big deep freeze to kill any kind of buggies or anything like that that may be in here. Uh, we'll put in some pictures of uh, some of our prepping fails. Um, we didn't really understand long-term food storage. We thought, well, it's in the pantry and we're going to use it eventually. And that was the kind of the catalyst of this video is they didn't last. They didn't last well at all. Uh, but we kept saying, oh, we're going to get to these, we're going to get to these, we're going to get to these. And we just didn't get to them in time. And they added protein to the package? 
and they were they were quite disgusting. So we're going to slice in some pictures of our our fails. So we're going to try to do it better this time. But I'm going to bring the camera in closer so you can see. That was a 50 pound bag of pinto beans. Yes. And, and this is supposed to be a 60 pound bag of dog food and it's only about half full. We could probably fit another, what, 20, 20 pounds in there? I would go for another 60, I think. 60 or 50. Or another 50 pound <laughs> bag, sorry. Because, let me, let me put the bag. Oh, honey. Guys. If you want to fill it all the way up to the lid. Here, I'm going to put it on the top so you can see. That's, put your hand down there so you can kind of see the depth. Man, that is still a lot of room in there. I think we could, I think if we fill it from this position instead, we could fill it up to the top and then drop it. All right. You know what? Should I put the scoop in? Yeah, put the scoop because we're gonna, well, gonna we're gonna scoop it out as needed. Um, we're making pre-fried beans or just cooking up beans. Um, no handles. <laughs> now the cool thing is these are stackable, and when they stand on their side like that, you can just kind of get out what you need. Probably should do it so that the lid, the uh, center is facing up. Yeah. All right, let's do the rice next. And see, we got a, uh, a 50 pound bag of rice that we froze as well, and that we're going to put into the other one. Now, for long term food storage, as much food as you can fit into one of these, for like, like I said, about $30 was, I think, with tax and everything, they were about $30. For a long term food storage, you fill that thing all the way to the top, put some oxygen absorbers in there, seal that gamma lid and put it into your, your bug out location or wherever you keep your long-term food storage. And I think it would last, but we're going to experiment with them and see how they do. I keep in mind, it said it was weatherproof and bug proof. So in theory, you can dig a hole and bury it, in theory. Another cool thing that these things have for inside the house, it has a beautiful label, <laughs> label that you can use a dry erase marker on. Yeah, uh, make sure you put the month and the year so you don't lose track of when you put them in there, uh, especially if you're using them for a long-term storage so you know exactly how long they've been in there. All right, we're going to pause, put this up, and get the rice for it set up next. Okay. All right, here we go with the rice. We're going to see how much we can fit into this thing. And as you can tell, we did a little movie magic on you. Pre opened the bucket. You know, this, the time. this is a, a 50 pound bag. We got this at Sam's as well. That's the whole reason why we went there is to go get food store, you know, food for our long term food. But we found these and we're like, man, that'd be such a cool experiment. And once again, we can probably fit another one. We can probably fit another one. It's at the top, at the book, what's going to be the... That's cool. Yeah. So you can probably fit about a hundred pounds of rice in these. Yeah. If not more. <laughs> We'd have to go get a second one, see if we can fill it up. But we're going to try it with this first, because I don't know if we can get through a hundred pounds of rice. But for long-term storage, we're totally going to get another one and keep it at our bug out location. Definitely. Huh. Guys? I'm having some uh, interesting ideas about these things. So I'm going to flip it over. Now I don't know why, but the rice was easier to manhandle than the, the pinto, beans? pinto beans. Did it come with a, a little scoop? It came with a little scoop. So we're going to leave the little scoop in here. Uh, and what our plan is uh, over the next however long it takes to get through one of these and to really see how long it takes us to get through one of these is 
just come in here for if he's making you know stir fry or something with rice come in here scoop out what you need and actually make it part of our working pantry we'll have to see how much that actually is we're gonna have to do some <laughs> measurements on this first but for now that one's set up and ready to go this is the grand experiment of how long will it last and how fast will we go through it all right on to our next uh, bit of long-term storage or just a working pantry hey guys so after all the cutting and editing and everything was done this video turned into 40 minutes long so we're going to cut it into two parts and this is the end of part one and stay tuned for part two maybe we'll even save it for next week and call it progress in prepping I would do that to you <laughs> I would I would it's less work for me <laughs> see you in a few